Hi, it's me, Dora V here, and today I'm going to be talking about Isidoro. You know, that little kid that people are very ambivalent about, and I think that uh, Casca will be pretty close to him. I mean, I don't think I need the tarot for that. It's kind of obvious. So I'll keep this one short and simple, and let's begin. All right, his focus point is the Two of Cups. Let's see, you like that outfit? I bought it. <laughs> it was good. Thought it'd be perfect for a cups. Not two of cups because of the little, this uh, animal here. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of thinks she's weird. But two of cups usually means like you're getting along pretty well with someone. But anyway, his, um, but this one's reversed. So his, um, Focus point is God only knows what. <laughs> like, boy, I don't think there even is a reverse. What? You can't the opposite of all of us? No, well, that sucks. But I don't think that's the case at all. Like, let me see. Yeah, it's said to be a, the upright. It's romantic, but I was under the impression that it's just like you just get along really well. Like I don't know if it necessarily has to be romantic. Yeah, new friend or lover, but his uh, focus point is uh, like he's not really noticing anything. Like yeah, they keep missing each other. Like repelled. Like that's his focus point. I think with the Cedaro, he just wants to be stronger and better as a fighter. But that's his focal point. But I'm really not buying this reversal. Because I do think he likes Casca a lot. But I also feel like he just wants to be a warrior and wants to be stronger. And would probably rather like just kind of stand on his own. But he's he's not adverse to working in groups, but I think he prefers to be alone, even though he's a bit of a spitfire about it. And let's see, yeah, they were, or they just don't notice each other. So it's possible that yeah, he just doesn't notice other things around him. Some focal point that is, damn. But here's the background. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's his own background influence. Who'd have thunk it? So yeah, like. Oh, I mean, he is in a group where there there is some authority and overseeing, so yeah, it makes a lot of sense that this would be a background influence. I mean, duh. Yeah, it's, and it's, uh, let's see, on guard. Yeah, I don't know if he necessarily had that bad of an existence. I don't, but yeah, I would be a bit wary and defensive, like whatever he might have gone through in the past, it might explain why he only wants to be stronger alert yeah of course he is but yeah definitely i don't know about spying but yeah vigilance that would be a huge influence i'm sure like on that world how can you not be vigilant the other one is the seven of swords but again it's a reversal so he's i don't think he's ever been a victim of slander i don't think he's the kind of character who does it but babbling he's he has a lot of that around him like Puck does a lot of babbling now, and the elves do, like Ivalera does to an extent as well. And I know he does, Isidro himself does this. And good advice, counsels. Yeah, all of this is true. You know, Guts, Casca, like those are definitely some. That was, that's actually a pretty good background influence because usually, like, the Seven of Swords is theft, greed, deceit, and avoiding confrontation. But reverse, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> So yeah, he has some good background influences. I just don't think the focus point makes much sense unless it's upright. And the action needed is the Queen of Pentacles. So I guess the Elf Queen, I guess. She seems more like an Empress though, but yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So generosity, security, liberty. So my guess is he needs to el help Elf Helm. Like he really needs to help the group that he's in. As much as he possibly can. Maybe get some help from the Elf Queen. Greatness of the Soul. Yeah. So definitely like accept her help and her generosity. And I think he'll do that because he's not stupid. Yeah, but I suspect that like, yeah, like the woman, the action needed is maybe get close to Casca as well. Because she would certainly be good as a personal trainer. <laughs> 
Yeah, maybe even better than Guts, because I feel like there's some good rapport between Casca and Isidoro. So yeah, so definitely, if not the Elf Queen, then Casca. But I think that he should really like just glean from the women in the group, because I think he would learn more from them. There you go. There's your action, Isidoro. Look as cute as her. <laughs> but yeah, he needs some queens in his life. And then, let's see. And the outcome, well, shit. He looks like he'll have a good outcome. Because that's the King of Cups, which is usually pretty good. So yeah, so it looks like the outcome is he might end up with, uh, like, Rodrigo, maybe? But yeah, that there will be men who will help him as well, but not necessarily Guts. Like, I think it'll be someone who would oblige him, so that I could see Roderick doing it. Maybe that fool Magnifico might. But Feminine Qua, I don't think Griffith will. I cannot see Griffith being the outcome for Isidoro. But I didn't think it'll be... He'll have a good ending. I think he'll either become this way... Or he will find himself with people like the King of Cups. And that's a really good influence. And I suspect the Isidoro will be just fine. I mean, come on. But if he does go down, he'll go down fighting for sure. And he will definitely make a soldier's choice because that's what he's always been. <laughs> so I suspect that maybe he'll get... I think he'll get close to the party. But mostly to the women. But I think he'll be fine. He'll be all right. And I think that'll do. <laughs> See you later. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Goodbye.